In this demo, we have two sites. The first grid is located at the site DC1, and it has a gateway running at dot .241. This is a tenant which has a bucket named local, and this bucket has some existing objects in it, about 100 of them. Now, we have another grid called a remote location, so our LDC, and that site has a gateway running at dot .230. So that will be our destination site for storage grid cloud mirror replication. You can see right here, this is the port that we are using, HTTPS, and we'll be replicating our data from the headquarters to this endpoint. Now, in order to do that, we need to configure an endpoint at the source site. So here you can see we provide the remote bucket endpoint. And before we start, you can see that the remote site has no objects. So anyway, that is the gateway of the remote site, uh, the standard URL syntax followed by bucket name. And now we enter bucket settings, we enable replication, and we provide this information XML file to replicate all objects in the to the bucket called remote, and do not filter by any prefix, just replicate everything you find. Once we save this, our endpoint is configured, our replication is enabled, so now we should be able to see replicated buckets in the remote site. Of course, at this point, we see none. And the reason is we have not created any new objects since we enabled replication. So we need to do that, that, and from that point on, now the replication is enabled. Added objects and existing objects will be found at the source site. At the remote site, we expect to see only the objects that have been added since replication was enabled and configured. Now, what do we do about the existing objects? Well, you can simply clone them by name or by date, by some other thing, and then at remote site, you will find your existing and new objects.